this positive spiral is pretty effective on this entire crypto space is this one my proper strategy So as usual, this is my performance strategy. So I only recommend assets to Bitcoin and all the altcoins which is related to these six categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my performance strategy, please check out my other video about my performance strategy. And here is my video link. Okay? And today's virtual matching category is here. Number one, DApps. And since we're going to focus on DeFi space, so these number three and number four is in direct matching category here. Okay? And as usual, I'm going to apply six anchor points. So starting on the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set a 5.0 point here. The total score is 30.30. And also, if you want a deeper understanding about my, how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link. Okay? Then here is the score updates of the budget project. So January 2021, I score them as 26.5 points, and then six months later, July 2021, I update the total score to 26.5 points. And those red mark area here, I'm gonna update the score here, and then from here, I'm gonna tell you the reason, okay? And then let's start from number one, painful analysis. There is no change. So as I told you many times on a chasm theory basis, in a blockchain space, we need a killer applications, which can cost in chasm. Once we can look at the Google, Facebook, Amazon, all our B2C applications. Then once we're gonna see you know, those potential here, you know, still there is no killer application who can cover this crossing chasm on a B2C yet in a DeFi space. Okay? So we have two main points here on the DeFi space. First one is this one: critical needs for asset allocation optimization on the mainly marketplace. Good example is Aave. They're gonna list these crypto assets on the Aave platform. But for the user perspective, it's pretty difficult to decide which asset should they gonna allocate their assets on the investment perspective, right? And the second paper is this one: lower impermanent loss risk on a DEX for your liquidity mining. So Uniswap is a great killer application on the DeFi space, but they have a critical pain point: is an impermanent loss risk. I'm not gonna tell you the detail here. You know, with the impermanent loss risk. A lot of retail investors hesitate to join liquidity mining on their platform. So once as a player who can manage these risks, it's gonna be so helpful. Then DeFi asset management player such as Butcher or Wi-Fi, they're gonna take care of these issues. Okay? Then product analysis. Here's the kind of key updates about the Butcher, especially for the overview stuff. So this project in finally December 2020 by Chris. The budget DAO is a DAO built with the purpose of the building the infrastructure and the product required to fast track Bitcoin as quarter across other blockchain. One of the uniqueness of the budget is the Bitcoin focus. Okay? Then they're gonna take the very unique approach with the WBTC technology stuff. First one is SETS. Partnering with the Harvest Finance, SETS model, YM boats, but focus on strictly on tokenized BTC assets to earn more budget tokens. And the four sets ready for launch, CAV SBTC, CAV REN BTC, CAV TBTC, and Bacha WBTC. Then DIC, Elastic Supply Cryptocurrency, that's picked to BTC's price based on DIC USD value versus BTC. The goal is to remove centralized control and custody over synthetic BTC and instead deploy Elastic Parameter to maintain the pet. So the major purpose of the DIC is they're not going to try to rely on the chain link price fee. They're going to build more decentralized model for this big approach. I think it's pretty interesting. And the next one, YR. On February 2021, Bacha will migrate their current WBTC bolt balance to YR. YR bolt will display in Bacha's app. Also, they will work together to build a new WBTC bolt that fees from the boats will be shared between the Butcher and YM protocols. The things we can learn from here that Butcher is pretty good at the effective partnering model to build a sustainable ecosystem on their product. It's pretty good. 
Then this is a system of a butcher, completely same as Yan Finance. Okay? So once you're gonna connect your wallet like MetaMask to the butcher, you can allocate your proof asset inside MetaMask to the butcher system without any kind of custodial solutions. It's pretty good. Okay? Then value card portion analysis. And here's the uniqueness of the butcher. Simply say, Wi-Fi is a fast mover in this you know, DeFi aggregating solution space. Only Wi-Fi can take this advantage. Then Butcher is so seriously focused on WBDC market. That's how they're going to survive in this market. And compared with units of Aave, these asset allocation optimizations, and also the lower impact loss risk management, that's the edge. Then I put the refinance as a new item here. The reason for this, I'm going to tell you later. Okay? Then about DAO, also these days, Butcher is so seriously focused on it. It's also pretty good. Then about WBDC focus. This is a good example. So Butcher now is working with DeFi dollar bring interest bearing Bitcoin to the Polygon network. So as you can see here, they are so seriously focused on WBTC market. On my analysis, these efforts, it's huge contribution for the entire ecosystem development of the crypto space. Why? Because this one. Because WBTC is the key growth driver for the DeFi. Because we can build the these positive spiral based on chasm theory. Once they're gonna achieve additional investor return with WBTC, lower selling pressure on Bitcoin because they're gonna hold their Bitcoin, never sell. Instead, they're gonna make money on a DeFi space. That is why they can achieve steady price growth to the BTC, so they can attract more long-term hold of the BTC. This positive spiral is pretty effective on this entire crypto space, is this one. My proposed strategy. Bitcoin as a digital gold project is a great catalyst to attract capital in the old market to the new market here on the blockchain space. Which means that WBTC market development stuff itself played a pretty critical role here to grow sustainable price growth of the Bitcoin. Okay, so to me, from that perspective, Butcher is a great project, okay? And then this is about refinance stuff. Refinance also kind of, you know, Wi-Fi products based on the products. Then one of the unique features of the refinance is the reef card. Once you're gonna make money on a reef finance, you can use those return on your Visa card. This can be a killer solution on crossing chasm on a B2C application on a DeFi space. For the butcher, since they're gonna focus on WBTC, you know, once they're gonna provide those butcher code or something on a Visa network, it's gonna be a huge killer solution for them to scale up their ecosystem. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? And then for your reference, what I'm thinking right now is you know, DeFi aggregator will be the Google on the blockchain space. Let me give you the background in here. Because you know, Google made the internet searchable for everyone. Then how are they gonna achieve this goal? Help user access to variable information efficient way. Then for example, YR, YFI product, makes crypto assets available for everyone. So help user minimize their risk and maximize their return on DeFi space. Then once we get at the Google, Here's analogy compared with Young Finance. Google made keyword search algorithm in a centralized fashion for internet contents, mainly text one, like page rank algorithm stuff. Why Young Finance? Why are made in farming liquidity mining strategy in decentralized fashion? So it's a completely different model compared with Google. Good example is Why is one of the popular whiteboard product stuff. So once you got a deposit to ETH token on the whiteboards, you know, this product itself make money instead of you by using those DeFi ecosystem. It's pretty easy, right? So to me, many people are discussing about you know, what's the Google on the DeFi space. To me, asset aggregator will be the one. That's what I'm thinking about. So which means that Butcher itself has a huge potential too, okay? And then number three, team analysis. Here, almost no updates. You know, starting from Chris, those player is pretty active still, so it's good. Then number four, execution power analysis. So asset market updates as of June 2021, data from DeFi House. But are now currently number two player next to Young Finance. Amazing interactions. Interesting point is, you know, since Butcher seriously focused on WBTC, so Young Finance itself is partnering with Butcher now. It's great. Then number five, token community analysis. So token economy design matrix which I made and the major matching category the butcher is here. Dabs 
And then since you gotta focus on DeFi space, collateral DeFi, DEX, also matching category kind of here. Then this is a network effect model on the budget. So here's the starting point. BTC holder who are interested in yield farming and liquidity mining, but prefer lower risk bet. So then they gotta lock up their BTC into budget. Then they gotta achieve more incentive for creator to develop the new strategy to make money with WBTC. This is a key point. Better performance than direct yield farming and liquidity mining, then they can achieve better customer experience for the retail investor so they can achieve asset pool growth. Then by leveraging this asset pool growth, as a second growth item is here, active user growth. Because by leveraging this stuff, they can achieve more wallet up integrate into budget box. So more WC product development opportunity come to their platform. So more investment opportunity for the retail investor. Then they can achieve more better customer experiences. So more and more retail investor, you know, lock their assets into budget. Okay. So these network effect model is correlated each other, help each other. Then budget ecosystem they can scale up. Okay. Then about governance DAO, these days it's pretty good. Budget DAO model is getting improving these days. It's pretty active. It's amazing. Okay. Then number six, hype cycle analysis. There is no big change. So got the hype cycle analysis, both in 2020 versions. Then this is a major matching category of the budget. Decentralized attest tokenization and also decentralized applications. Okay. Then total score updates. So again, update stuff. Pain points, no change. And the product, I update from 3.0 to 4.5. The reason is we eventually can confirm that their continuous efforts and also sustainability of the WBTC product development stuff. That especially partnering with the Wi-Fi is a great traction. So 4.5. Team, no change. And about execution power, 4.5. First of all, it's a great traction that they're going to achieve continuous successful API with the WBTC product. It's amazing traction. But at the same time, I admire their open partnership model. I gotta see the huge potential out there of this open partnership model, so 4.5. Token economy, 3.5 to 4.5. I clearly confirmed that, like Wi-Fi network effect model, Butcher has also pretty high potential network effect model there. At the same time, their DAO governance model is pretty improving these days, so 4.5. The hype cycle, no change. So the total score is 26.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in. So I'm gonna recommend investment in butcher down token, butcher. Okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the education purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of sustainable investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and watch space. So I'm gonna make a lot of me this video on crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.